Hey everybody, and welcome back to Life and Times of Ink Stone. Owner operator of Pony Express Transport. So we've gotten our nav system fixed. Today it's been fixed. As luck would have it, we have uh, actually gotten a load of truck batteries to uh, deliver from the Kenworth factory here in Portland, not Portland, sorry, Seattle, to Kenworth dealer in Portland. That's pretty, pretty handy. Kenworth delivering Kenworth parts to the uh, Kenworth dealer. Like the perfect trifecta for uh, truckers. You don't roll in here with a Volvo. Offensive. It's offensive, dude. We'll hire a Volvo to do a Kenworth's job. that old Peterville there was uh, mighty nice looking mighty nice looking that number to call for you. Where is that number? Backing up into me. Gosh. Whiff driver, who is that? named white truck on a new named green tractor. Hmm. Was on fresh. Is that one of those is that one of those grocery store delivery trucks? Amazon runs? about them. Five south to Portland. And our Washington tour is as far and wide. Oh, here comes a way station. Oh, I can bypass this one. I have a heavy load of batteries. I'm glad I had a chance to get out of the truck and see what kind of damage that guy did to me. Pull back right on into my truck. 
didn't even have the decency to hunt me down on the radio. Get out of the truck. Figure out what did I hit. Gosh. Ah. Loves. They never got back over to Loves the other week. Leaving town a different direction. Got that big dome. Wonder what that is. Sports arena or something, I guess. Epic dome, it said. Epic Dome. That was like a convocation center? Or a, uh... Convention center or what that was? Epic. Pretty cool architecture there. That's right, that's right, Mr. Pinkstone. Got some very taste. He likes to admire the architecture of buildings from time to time. He pigeonholing me into just some truck driver. Been around. It's nice not driving east in the morning. Oh, loves. I love me some loves. Well, I guess at this point, I mean, it's nearly 11 o'clock. see us uh, get too much sun in her eyes at 11 o'clock. Oh, that was the that was the reminder I got on my phone. Bank draft. Got to make sure they're paid on time. Overall, I can't complain. Things have been going fairly good for me. Other than our navigation woes of hopefully old. Truck's been pretty solid. Trailer's been good. Oh, let's see here, this is one of those drawbridges. Oregon. 
Portland shouldn't be too far behind. Too far ahead, I should say. It's hard to see which uh, road nav system wants you to take. Well, they did say that the upgrade included a uh, voice feature, and hadn't really looked to see, figure out how to turn that on. guys in the shop for uh, spoke, spoke well of a uh, granny voice it's just like your grandma love it I saw him barely trying to keep a chuckle from, uh, from coming out so I'm not so sure if I'm going to love it or not Maybe I'll try to figure out how to turn it on as I wait for these uh, batteries to be unloaded. There we are. And we're a dealer here in Portland, Oregon. So they told me that uh, you're going to want these things around back. Go ahead and get this load unloaded. So we've got another load right over across the street, basically at the shipyard. Take it up to Port Angeles, Washington. Did get the uh, did get the voice navigation turned on. I thought we'd uh, give her a try. Oh, gosh, we got double trains. Put a try today. All right. Load up to Port Port Washington. Take a listen to Granny and see if those guys at the shop were. Uh, Pulling my leg. Of course, it's not too terrible, bad. Hey, buddy, you're around there kind of hot. Sell some fuel. Yeah, pull into the loves. Grab a bite to eat. Fuel. Well, get ready to turn left. Attic shipyards. Got ourselves machine parts loaded on up. The 
Is there parts for one of those big cargo ships? See where this is going to get annoying. Don't need to tell me twice. Port border. Turn a specific direction. Oh, let's get stuck. Stop, lady. You're not all seeing, all knowing. You didn't know about that red light. Check your attitude at the door, Granny. be going back up the way that we right. came be able to stop at Love's get ourselves a drink that's nice Love's coffee and then turn left. have a bite to eat wait turn for the truck left. to fuel up sounds perfect FedEx. Double of extras. Reefers, even. Might invest some day in a reefer trailer. Gotta see if there's any money in it. You know, if having a reefer trailer isn't profitable, above a uh, regular van trailer, I don't see much, much need to spend the money on it. I mean, you know, the longer produce hauls. I don't want to be in a reefer trailer as opposed to a dry van, that's for sure. Just Mr. FedEx Trips. All bridge, stop ahead. Be, very, be prepared to stop. Lights green. Good to go. Up to Washington State. I like the state signs having the uh, silhouette of uh, Washington. President. I keep left there. Not driving there, Granny. I am, and I'm going to go on the right side. Tell me to keep left. Yeah, I guess we're going to go up to. Seattle and then uh, hang a left. Port 
Angelies. Angels. I'm not really sure what how you pronounce it. I want to get off and uh, grab a bite. Yep, there she is. Loves. Okay, let's find a new room. Go straight on. That's right. Here, Granny. I'm on a loves. Give me no lip. I'm going to Love's, lady. Going to Love's. on this navigation system. Recomputing. Rerouting. Clearly. Clearly those guys are pulling my leg. I gotta get home to my pie, please. Finding it near rail possible. Now it's talking over top of Never itself. Mind, sugar. I'll find us a new rail. Turn right. I mean these pumps the wrong way, but oh well. Let me get this pump started. Head on in there and grab me a bite to eat. Back out here. Guys, later. Ready to turn right. Oh, that was refreshing. Have a nice turn big right. tall cup of joe. Get Grabbed one of their greasy double burgers. Uh, chili cheese fries. Turn left. Full tank of gas. Full belly. Full cup of coffee. Uh, can't think of what too much is better than that. Thanks for letting me in. Thanks for letting me in. Lights up the guy. Port Angelies. That there, sir, is our destination.
Lake Boulevard. Oh. I don't want to see this black lake. I'm a little worried why the water is so dark. I might have missed this turn. Play's well, not too terrible bad. Definitely heard worse. This is the uh, port where we can get a ferry across the across the water. I have to see about doing that. Bit of a shortcut in uh, driving all the way around. School bus. It's awful late for a school bus coming around. Kids these days they don't seem to be going to school very long. the life I'm looking forward to once we get gosh I wonder how many drivers we're going to need to have in order to have a life where we can just buy a boat and get out on the water with no worries go straight on planning on doing great on porch should be up here somewhere running up against all this water That's one of those glass trucks. He yeah, would look like a frame on the side and everything, and then he turned and saw the telltale sign of the re sun reflection off of that big pane of glass on the side of that van. I wonder if the driver's, uh, if the driver's docked if, uh, happens that big piece of glass. It's not much the driver can do if the rock gets kicked up by somebody driving past him. Oh, it hits the, hits the glass and shatters it right there on the road driver to do. I mean, you find some way of screwing them over, I bet. Not me. We're going to 
Funny Express Transport, we're gonna, we're gonna be a different company. But tell everybody, everybody I see. Oh, plenty of folks in there loves about all about Pony Express Transport. Just wait and see. We're going to be a big name. Big name across the entire Pacific Northwest. Need a little time. A little time. And, uh, we are coming into the port right now. I was going to say, mighty long drive. We can avoid this by taking the ferry. Well, where are they? These trucks backing up. Whoa! Dude, that was a yellow light. Hopping right there on me. Talking about that glass and breaking, I was about to be the guy that did it. I want right there. That's a studio sleeper. I was looking at some brochures. Oh, the truck was getting worked on. He's got plenty of headroom. He's stand up there in the back. If you're like 6'8, you don't have to worry about Go straight on. banging your head on anything. Lady. Pepsi lady, Pepsi lady. I don't know, I'm not gonna drink no Pepsi for that. Go straight on. Jazz Club. a boat there look at that big big sailboat this is a sailboat oh, where this thing's taking us As you'd expect, there's lots of businesses down here at the port. Oh, look at that. Port of John Place. Keep we need to right. store their Port of John and somewhere. We saw earlier. Thanks, dude. Didn't need to let me in, but okay. Keep left and then turn left. 
turn left. This lady's not near as annoying, but still, I don't think I'm gonna keep her on. Go straight on. Oh, we were delivering this down to the port. Huh, just delivering it over here to a uh, low mill facility. This is quite the operation. That. Stay away from those claws. Big pile of junk lumber. There, been shredded into wood chips, sawdust, something. She want me to back in there. We're not going to mess with that. All right, guys. I want to thank you for coming out and watching today's video. American Truck Simulator. The little role play series that we are playing here. Uh, you can see we are at level 9. We got to get to level 10. Once we are level 10, we're going to be able to unlock sleeper cabs. And at that point, that's where we're going to, um, that's where we're going to go ahead and buy a second truck with a sleeper cab, with a trailer, give this truck and a trailer to our very first employee. And then at that point in time, things are going to start moving pretty quick. Because once the employee starts bringing money in, we'll continue to bring money in. We'll be able to buy another truck, buy another employee, and just keep rolling it as every employee gets added. We're going to start making money quicker, quicker, and quicker. Um, before you know it, and be that shipping empire that we've always dreamed of. So until next time, happy trucking.